Hi, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. I have a little video disclaimer for you. My little Lola is in the room. I'm gonna share a little video of her in a moment. She has a very full tummy, so I didn't want to pick her up and upset her. She ate really good today, so I'm gonna let her sleep. She probably won't be too noisy, but let me let her say hello, then let's get into this. Hey, Miss Lola, you wanna say hello to everybody? Can we say hello? No? You are so hard to get on film. <laughs> okay, so as you can tell from the title, this is a little bit of a different type of video. These are 10 luxury items that I am no longer going to be purchasing. These are all items I have purchased in the past, and I will explain my reasons why going forward I am going to save my money and buy other things instead of these. These are by no means bad items if you love all of these keep buying them it's not um it's not a, a video like putting anything down well maybe one item one item is yeah i'm a little bit gonna put down one item but other than that it's you know it's just things that don't work for me anymore so my name is melinda if you're new to my channel if you're returning welcome back i do videos about once a week on luxury handbags jewelry stuff like that so if you like that kind of content i would love it if you'd stick around and hit that subscribe Button down, button down below and if you're returning welcome back so these are in no particular order of you know which ones I'm not purchasing and why but the first one is luxury designer luggage if you watched my 10 favorite things uh, luxury favorite purchases which those could change in an hour I love all my things this was one of the items, I have it backwards, there's my luggage tag, is my keep ball bandolier in the size 45 in the Damier Abin. I liked it so much. I got my husband one and his is in the Damier Graffite. We just used these last weekend on a little getaway uh, to go see some family. We love these bags. We love them. I used to bring this one on the plane with me quite a bit. I don't really anymore. And um, I've had this since 2015, so five years, and it still is, you know, an amazing shape. I need to put a little bit more stuffing in it. It's kind of, this is how I keep it stored. I did get a lot of questions about that. I have pillows and I have um, bubble paper, air paper, air wrap, whatever you want to call that stuff. I have all of that in here and I keep it like this and in the dust bag. So I love this piece. I use it all the time. And when I first, first started, getting into Louis Vuitton back in 2012, I remember looking at the luggage, thinking how gorgeous it was, and it was cheaper than my first handbag. It's no longer that, <laughs> no, cheaper is the wrong word. It was less expensive than my first handbag. The piece that I really like is the rolling travel bag. I think it's called the Horizon. I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. It's not that it's not beautiful, but I travel a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. This, not this year, of course, but in general, I would say over the last three years, out of each year, there might have been one to two months where my husband and I did not get on a plane. So I could justify getting the luggage because I would use it all the time, right? Well, because I travel so much, I know what happens to your luggage. It gets beaten up, it gets, uh, I have a really cute um, little travel size, well, carry on size, little pink bag and I will try to insert a picture because I did not bring it down here and I will link it down below. I think it's on sale right now for like $159 but it's from Mark and Graham and I got my husband a matching one in black. It's only ever been in the overhead bin and it's got marks all over it. I mean because you are you're shoving it in that overhead bin and you're shoving it back out and people are putting their stuff and mashing it all next to yours. It's just it's going to get marked up. This piece of luggage from Louis Vuitton is 2950 I don't know, I'll put the price down below. So for me, that would be well over $3,000 when you add in my tax. Even traveling as much as I do, it's just to me not worth it to purchase any more luxury uh, luggage. My regular luggage, I can tell you I have been in airports and the um, handle that comes up so you can push the bag has broke. <laughs> I've had handles break off. I've had wheels fall off and I buy good luggage like Samsonite or you know different kinds of brands. It's not like I always buy cheap luggage. My um, my carry-on is not very expensive and, and it's done pretty good but I just can't justify spending $3,000. So the key ball, I 
Oh, it's like I said from 2015 they've had many many price increases since then I cannot remember what I spent on it but I feel like it was absolutely worth it I have like I said brought this on the plane I can fit it under the seat because it's a size 45 I can put it up above I don't really like to because like I said people smash their stuff into yours and uh, all that you know but somebody's putting something in with wheels and it's going up against my bag it just I prefer this for car trips I think that the um, Horizon would be a great one for car trips, but when I take car trips, I really don't need a rolling bag because I'm not going that far. So usually when we do car trips, um, we're usually going to see family and I'm going from a driveway inside their house. So I really don't need a rolling bag. Number two, costume jewelry. And I'm going to share with you my entire costume jewelry collection, which is extremely small. I have four pieces and one of which I have never worn, which I will share that one with you too. And I think costume jewelry, luxury costume jewelry from Chanel, Dior, Fendi, I mean, just uh, so many, Hermes, all these, you know, fashion houses. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I've said this before and I did. I did buy one other piece of um, costume jewelry after I said I wouldn't from Dior. And I will insert a picture of the Dior earrings because there's no way you'll be able to see them. They get you. They're gorgeous. They're beautiful pieces, but they're really, really expensive. And for that amount, I could easily get a piece of fine jewelry, which is much more my passion. I love jewelry. So, I mean, it's super tempting. So I have the classic small CZs um, or uh, crystals, I guess they're not, well, they are CZs, I guess. No, they're not, they're not CZs. They are crystals. There is a difference. I don't think my camera's liking that. There we go. I haven't had any of them fall out. I've been very lucky about that. I did have a back fall off of this in a hotel room and, um, Brighton was lovely enough to give me an extra pair of backs. So that was the very first piece of costume jewelry I picked up. The second piece I got on sale, and this one I have worn a fair amount. I, I love this piece. They, oh, I just love this piece. I love anything celestial. It is a moon and stars brooch. I think it is so, so pretty. I love that. I haven't had any trouble with the pearls. Not a you know tremendously worn piece by any means. This one I got last year on sale, and I have yet to put it on once, <laughs> not even once. And I think it's super cute. Again, it's another Chanel brooch. Really, really cute. I haven't worn it, don't know why. I need to wear it, it's cute. And then my Dior earrings, which I picked up last year as well. Or did I get that the year? I don't know. I know I got these last year because <laughs> I was not gonna buy them. They're kind of expensive, but they're so, so pretty. You won't be able to see these. I'm just gonna insert pictures. I will try to hold them up a little bit. No, nope, you're not gonna be able to see them. I'll put pictures in. But they kind of wrap around your ear and it's so, so cute. They're cool. Dior has told me that their crystals do not fall out and I don't see any missing. But for if I added up all four of these pieces, I could easily have a fine piece of jewelry. And it doesn't have to be a luxury designer name like the hoops that I'm wearing. I mean, I could have a pair of gold hoops. I could have a gold necklace. I could have, you know, if I wanted a designer name, um, there are some more lower um, entry entry price point levels at at the luxury stores. And I these together and save a little bit more money and you could have a piece of fine jewelry. They get you. They're so, so cute. And they come out with new designs all the time. I'm always so tempted, but I've, I've been pretty good. I only have four pieces. <laughs> My number three, is mini bags. I have tried very hard with mini bags. I have had three wallets, nope, four wallet on a chains, two from Chanel, one from Dior, and um, one from Gucci, all sold. I had a Chanel mini flap, sold. The last mini bag that I have left in my collection is this YSL mini Lou. I'm keeping this one. It's great to have one mini bag. I have found out wallet on a chains just they flat out do not work for me. I've said it if you've watched my older videos when I had them, it is a wallet on a chain. I could fit a phone and a lip gloss in there. That's it. If I was driving, there's no way I could fit keys. This holds a surprising, you know, amount, a pretty good amount, but it's still 
on a general day-to-day -day basis holds less than what I, I would want to carry. It is in a gorgeous color. It's not black. It is called Dark Smog. It's like a bluish gray. It has this nice little um, slit on the back that you could put, you know, some cards in or some cash. It has the three credit card slits in there, which I think, you know, helps it a lot. It's a fully leather lined bag. I got this for an amazing, amazing deal. And um, it's absolutely not going anywhere. This is perfect. Like, and this is why I kept rebuying Wallet on a Chains after I would sell them. They're great for like a night out um, and you're gonna go dancing because you don't have to leave your bag. It's so small, crossbody. I don't know when I'm ever going to get to go dancing again, but are you okay over there? But when eventually I do, this is going to come with me. And so it's nice to have one, but I have learned I really, I'm a sunglass girl. And when I would carry my wallet and chains on vacation, thinking, oh, they're super compact. I was always tucking my sunglasses down in my shirt and that was annoying every time you'd go inside, outside. I just need something a little bit bigger on a day-to-day -day basis, but I am happy to have one in my collection. I've done something to the tassel. There we go. <laughs> but I will not be adding any more mini bags. Lesson learned. That was a lot of mini bags that I sold. So the next one, number four, and I will have to insert a photograph because I don't have any bags. Well, I do. I have a, a pochette accessoire. Um, but that is Louis Vuitton bags that have vaquetta. I am over vaquetta. I'll just be honest, I'm finally just, I'm going to say it. I don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't like it when it's super dark. I don't like water spots on it. I see it on other people and I think it's pretty. I think it's cute. Uh, for me, I don't like it. I'm just, I'm too uptight to have water spots. I don't want a super, super dark patina. I don't want to worry about it. I have used Apple Guard. Whenever I say I don't like vaquetta, I get all these comments. Use Apple Guard, use Apple Guard. I have used Apple Guard and I got some water spots from a very light sprinkle. And I just, it's not for me. I just, no, never ever again will I purchase a bag with Vaquetta. And speaking of the Vaquetta, the Horizon luggage, which I think is so beautiful, I hope it's the Horizon luggage, I think it is. It has two things of Vaquetta on the top and it rains so much here. And when you get out of the car to go into the airport, you're in the rain. Or if you park at the airport and you take the bus, you're in the rain. So that, that again, makes that a huge no for me. No bags with the Keta. No, no more. I've been there. I've done that. They've all been sold. They were all perfect without a mark on them. <laughs> the one that I had a, a rain spot, I replaced the handles on that. Just no, not for me. <laughs> so number five is, if you watched one of my recent videos, you know I have too many of these. Number five is small leather goods. Look at how beautiful these colors are. It's so tempting. They come out with beautiful colors every year or limited edition pieces. And I find Louis Vuitton and Chanel to be just the best and the worst at this. <laughs> they just tempt me so much. It's like you want a little something and it's just like, and, and Hermes, Hermes has amazing colors. I just have so, so, so many if you watch that video and I'm not switching out as often as I used to. I used to switch all the time and I don't plan on letting any go. I let quite a few go early in the spring, but I think I need to say no more. No more card holders, no more coin purses, <laughs> no more wallets, no more cosmetic pouches, no more small leather goods. The next one, I have down here an example on the floor, excuse me, and that is luxury designer backpacks. I've only purchased one. I will insert a picture of it. It was the Chanel Gabrielle backpack. I think that that's a really, really cute backpack. The design of it, however, this is the one that I currently have in my collection. It is a Kate Spade. So just to show you the design of that one, so you see where you would hook the um, backpack straps on there? The um, Chanel one, it, it's shaped different than that, but it is stuck like that out. Where see how this moves up? So it poked into my back. I never wore it. I purchased it for my birthday. I tried it on, walked around the house for a few minutes. And I was like, ow, <laughs> this thing hurts. I think it looks so cute on other people slung over one arm. I tried that with the bag too. And to me, that was just really uncomfortable. 
I love backpacks. I really love that new one from Louis Vuitton that's in like a taupe color with pink on the inside. I'm not sure if it's the Montessaurus. I'm not sure what it is. Somebody is escaping. I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, where was I? It is so hard to film with her in here. She distracts me so much. Um, the Montessaurus, I think that's what it's called. It is so gorgeous. I had them pull it down and let me look at it when I was buying my Odeon. Oh, it's so beautiful, but I know I won't use it. I have a vintage made in the USA coach backpack, similar size to that one. And I used to use it all the time when I had little ones, but I just, and I've tried that one, just playing around with it over the shoulder. No, it's not working. <laughs> so this is the only one I have left. I did purchase a coach one last year. I sold it. This is the Kate Spade Polly. I want to say it was $70. I am keeping it. It's very similar to the Palm Springs Mini, I think. I don't really like how um, you have to stack the things in it, but I'm keeping this because I think it will be perfect for Disneyland. And hopefully one of these days I can go to Disneyland again but it's just a nice little pebbled leather and it wasn't very expensive. And you don't have to worry about the color transfer. I just think backpacks are so cute. I also love, there's one from Fendi, if they don't have it anymore, but I debated that and debated it. They're just not for me and I need to just stop. No more backpacks. So number seven, I'm gonna have to go grab because my desk was a little bit too full. So number seven are Louis Vuitton shawls and Gucci scarves. These snag so incredibly easily. I got this one last year for Christmas, I believe, and I'm not gonna like try to search for the snags for you, keep you here forever. This snagged the very first time I wore it. It's gorgeous, I love these. They just, I think they do something to your face in the winter to have a little bright pop of color. This one is in the pink and the gray. And the first time I used this one, I spilled some kind of sauce on it. And instead of just leaving it alone, I was out of town. Instead of leaving it alone, I used a shout wipe on it. And then when I got home and took it to the dry cleaner, they wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole. They're like, um, no, <laughs> you've already ruined it. And they told me to try to wash it at home with like some Dawn dish detergent. And I did, and it came out. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see the textural differences in these two. The blue one is super, super smooth, and this one is kind of fuzzy. It didn't ruin it. Um, I can definitely still, that was my fault. This has nothing to do with Gucci. <laughs> and this one, the funny thing is, this one does not snag as easy now that I've washed it that way. But yes, this snags very easily. So the Louis Vuitton ones snag even worse. The denim, this is the denim one, and it, this is the worst of all of them. It has massive, massive snags, and it's, they're huge, they're gorgeous, and like I said, they just, you know, you can just change an outfit so easily with them. But they're so, so, so expensive. I think they're like $700 now, six, $700. I'm not sure. I got mine a while ago, but um, the Gucci ones are more reasonable. This one snags the least out of the Louis Vuitton. It's a slightly different material. As you can see, it's the Sean, Shine, not Sean. Um, it's the Leo Graham and, um, this one I got in Paris. I just, I love this. This is my favorite one of all of them. I love this, but I think I have more than enough. I have a scarf collection video I will put down below for you if you're interested. But for the price of these, I could get something that I'm not gonna have to worry about and that's longer lasting. I did want to just bring out something to share with you. If you're interested in getting designer scarves, I think a much, much better alternative is Burberry. This is their lightweight one, and this does not snag. You think it would, because let me show you how sheer it is. I mean, that is very sheer, but it doesn't snag, and they're just very, very durable. And also they're cashmere. These are 100% cashmere, and they just wear beautifully. And if you want one from Louis Vuitton, I highly recommend their thicker um, um, scarves. These are 100% wool. And um, no, this one has wool and silk because of the, the um, colors on it. This again, I got in Paris, but these hold up really, really well. I knew when I was buying these, I watched videos and I was like, I won't snag, I don't snag anything. You're gonna snag it, you're gonna look at it and you're gonna snag it. They are gorgeous though, absolutely gorgeous. So number eight, this is the one I told you one of my things 
I think was the stupidest thing I've ever bought in my life, and this is it. It is Chanel hand cream, and I will have to insert a picture because I used it all, and I was very unimpressed with it. I was talking to my husband about this video last night, and I was telling him about the hand cream because I'll show you in a minute, I had some things come from Amazon. And I asked him if he remembered that, and he's on this little egg shape hand cream, and I brought it with me on one of our winter vacations because everybody just raves about it. My skin gets so, so dry, especially when I'm traveling because you're washing your hands in public restrooms and the soap there is super harsh, unlike at home. And I lotion right after, and I lotion many times during the day, that stuff did nothing for me, and it was so cold and windy, I remember my face started peeling. So I went into Sephora and picked up some First Aid Beauty um, uh, little cream, and I'll link that down below. And I ended up using that on my hands as well. It immediately made my face stop uh, peeling. But what I really prefer instead is this Eucerin or um, um, Nivea. I got, this is what came last night, this is why we were talking about it. It's like, something's at the door, and so I went and got it. I got a pack of six of these for, oh my goodness, I don't remember, but I will write the price down below. I want to say, I don't know, it was, it was under $10, I'm pretty sure. This is what's by my sink in my kitchen, except for the one by my sink has sunscreen in it, and this did not have sunscreen in it, but these are little one ounce bottles, very easy to put in your handbag, very inexpensive, and it works so much better than Chanel. I have always been like mixed high end and low end, like with cosmetics and I, I wear Chanel foundation. I love it, but I didn't feel like $50 for hand cream was worth the price. I really feel like you can do better. And I wanted to share, it's on topic, but off topic. This came yesterday too. And I'm going to link this down below. I'm just sharing it because again, the high end, the low end, and I was debating getting Nivea hand cream, but they come in the little tins where you have to um, unscrew the top. I don't like that because I don't like sticking my finger in there. I like squirting it out. I feel like it's more sanitary. This kit was $25 with 40% off. This is not an ad. I'm not getting paid for this. I just think it's so cool. It came with a foaming silk um, mousse and I keep Nivea in my bathroom and it has gotten rid of all my dry skin, my elbows. I've been using that all summer long and it comes with an in shower body lotion, which I'm super excited to try. This just came last night, so these have all not been opened yet. A full size, this is what I keep by my sink in my bathroom, and I use this after my shower. And this is what they had, and I wanted to try this, because it's a little bit big, it's two ounces, it's the Nivea cream. And it also came with a Nivea lip balm. All of this was, it was $25 with 40% off on Amazon. I'll link that down below. But my point being, just because something is super, super expensive doesn't make it super, super good. You don't have to get Lemur, you don't have to use Chanel. There are all sorts of other um, kind of brands that, that are just as good, in my opinion. And so I will never again spend $50 on a little tiny thing of hand cream. And it was really kind of an awkward shape inside of your bags also on top of that. So number nine is expensive designer candles. This one is from Diptyque. This is Jasmine. A lot of times I will have a candle um, burning over here. I don't today. I got it. It's actually behind the bag. This is the one I've been using. It is Ballerina Rose and it is from Bath and Body Works White Barn. I have tons of these all over my house, all sorts of scents. And um, I got that one, I think around like $10.50. I don't remember how much these are. I'll have to write it, <laughs> I don't remember. It was expensive. I bought this one and I bought a rose one. And the rose one I really liked, the jasmine, if you notice it is not lit. <laughs> I've had this for over a year. It's way too strong just sitting here like this. And the rose one I liked because I like roses. They're just, it's too strong, it's too much, too strong. And the jasmine is stinky, <laughs> it really is. I haven't tried all of their scents, but I, I'm very happy with the ones from Bath and Body Works and they sent a whole room, but this would scent the room I'm in down the hallway and my husband is not fond of candles and it's just, to me, a giant waste of money. Just when I could get, I, go, I wish I could remember, I will write it down below. It's a huge difference. Like if you buy those full price from um, 
well, you can see it if I put my hand back. If you buy these full price, they're $24.50. Nobody buys them full price. They always go half off and then um, you get it. I have an extra 20% off coupon of my entire purchase that day. They're just a really good deal. They're bigger. This did last long in the rows. It lasted a long time, but no, never and ever again. So now let's get into the last one, number 10. So number 10, our luxury designer high heels. I only have one pair and they are from Christian Louboutin. These are the simple pumps. They come with the dust bags, which I think the dust bags are in my closet. They come with little extra heel tips, which I think is really cool. I have worn these shoes maybe five times <laughs> and here they are. And they're not a particularly high heel by any means. I think it's a 70 millimeter and they're just the, the black Napa leather. The bottoms are the red. The first time that I wore these, I was in a restaurant. I do have the rubber soles on. I did not have the rubber soles on, so you can see this is very slick. And it was one of those restaurants that has um, cement floors and the bathroom was like a mile away in the back. I really thought I was gonna go splat. I was, just, I was waiting to fall. They are that slippery. So I did go and I put the rubber soles on, not so much because I was worried about the red coming off, but I was worried about me falling. So I didn't wear them for a while because it took me a bit to go in and get the soles put on. Wore them out on a couple of other dates. I wore these to a wedding last fall in Temecula and I wore these to my daughter's wedding last December. We are well into October. These have not been worn since last December. So they are beautiful. I mean, they're not too high, but I'm just, I'm not a heel girl. I would much rather have a pair of boots or a pair of flats if I was going to invest in a luxury shoe than a pair of heels. These are, and they are like they said, the simple pump. These are just the most basic, simple pump. I could have gotten a small black pump anywhere, you know, DSW, Off-Broadway. I think one of ours closed. Which one closed? I don't know, one of them closed. I was really sad about that. But I mean, anywhere, Dillard's, Macy's, <laughs> this was a lot of money for something, you know, so simple. I was trying these heels on, not these, but Louboutins, in the Louboutin store in Las Vegas, like the really high ones, and they really do make you look good. I know why ladies wear those, but they were so uncomfortable. I'm just not a heel girl, I want to be comfortable. So all these items that I have purchased in the past, will not be purchasing going forward because I'm trying to be more mindful of my spending to put the money towards things that I'm really going to use and love and that aren't going to just be occasional, you know, used purchases. I don't plan on selling any of these items. Well, the ones I've already sold, the Louis Vuitton bags with the Keta, they're already gone. But everything else and all the mini bags, they're already gone except for that one, but I'm keeping it. <laughs> but what are some items that you have purchased in the past that you just are not going to do anymore going forward and you're going to use your money towards something smarter that you will enjoy better? Let me know down below. I hope you have an amazing day today. Take care. Bye-bye.